this video, we are going to be rocking Alabama, and I'm going to show you how to set up their depth chart, or at least the biggest thing that you need to do for the Alabama depth chart, and that is a couple things here. Uh, the biggest thing that you can do in Alabama's depth chart is get this guy Bernard off the field. He's probably the worst player on the team, uh, to be quite honest with you. I, I really am not a fan of his. And there's a 95 speed dude, and for some reason I can't find him here. So we're going to put – I guess we'll just leave this guy Williams in there. And then at the uh, defensive end positions, you want to put in uh, this guy Rousseau, and then you want this guy Robinson – at the right outside linebacker, we can do all that at the play at the pre at the, the the menu here. So we just want this guy. Let me see if I can find him here. We want Robinson, not Robinson, uh, Rousseau, and Cot. These are the guys we want there, and then we want Robinson and uh, what's that guy's name? I don't know. No problem. We we'll just play some cover one, uh, but running my new Alabama offensive ebook. If you guys want to check out that ebook, that's available by being a school community member. Ten bucks gets you access to everything for college football and for Madden. So you get all the content that we have over there for both games. Cool part about that school membership is we've been adding a lot of stuff. So it's not just ebooks that you get over there. You're going to get depth chart setups. You're going to get pro tips. You're going to get pass protection formulas, blitz formulas. Like literally everything that you need to be successful. I might mess around with this this nickel over. I was I was gonna, I really like this four four split. A lot of people are kind of sleeping on this defense. I think, so we'll see if we can actually run this pretty well. We'll just see how this works. This blitz is humming. This blitz is humming. Um, four four. Of course, I say that I give up a run. I give up a. One play touchdown inside zone with an eight man box and a four four split defense, and he's in spread. Shout out to College Football 25 Pursuit Angles. But uh, we'll finish setting the depth chart up here just because this guy's going to just, just this guy just wants to he just wants to get in the game and call inside zone. Uh, but the biggest thing here is you want to put this guy Robinson at the starting linebacker here. And then you want to put this guy caught at the starting linebacker here. Campbell and Lawson are your two middle linebackers. And then this right end is going to be Keeley. And then underrated thing you can do with this team, they have a 97-speed corner and this guy Jackson. And then they have this slot corner called Mincy. This dude is a dog. And we got more, and we got this other dude. So 4-4 four, four is set up. I might jump back into nickel over a little bit this game. We'll see. I do think nickel over is kind of cool. There's some things you can do out of it. But the main reason we're here is because our offense is unstoppable. Our offense is super good. This Alabama trips, probably the best trips in the game, in my opinion. I got two versions of trips. I've got an Arizona trips. I've got actually three. I got Arizona trips. I got multiple trips. And then we also have Alabama trips. And the Alabama trips is, is the only trips in the game that has this quarterback zone play. And this quarterback zone play is really good. You're going to be able to – Basically, just come out. You can quick snap this run. Like, for, as you see here, a lot of people running this double A gap. This is one of the best ways to kind of beat this. Let's we'll see if we can get outside here. This should be a touchdown, literally a touchdown. Yeah, you see how foul – I mean, we, we take the number one meta defense in the game, uh, nickel double mug, and you're going to give yourself a really good chance at, at at least running that for a touchdown. I don't know why. That's probably the worst juke I've ever seen Jalen Milrow have. You also have this, uh, this gun F twins. This gun F twins is really good. There's a lot we can do with this gun F twins. We're gonna go with the count or the inside zone here. Cool part about gun F twins, it's a little different than Wildcat. It, it basically works very similarly uh, to Wildcat. The only big difference is you can audible out of this one, whereas in in basic Wildcat you can't really audible. So I just think it's a better formation. This QB power is super good. We're gonna just try to follow our blocks. I don't know why Milro can't juke. I, I don't know what just happened. He he must have he must have he must have took a hit in pregame warmups because he did not take a hit otherwise. So we're gonna get back in trips here. I don't know what's going on with my quarterback. He's not he's not running the ball very well. And we're gonna go with this Verts delay play. We'll just we'll just call hike here. This is probably something's probably gonna be open. This tight end route, super good. Let me, jerk, let me jump over people. Fourth and four. Going to go to my red zone money play. Again, I, I guess my quarterback literally just got hurt. I don't know, I don't know what happened to him. He didn't, I don't think he took a hit, but for some reason he's just, he's just injured. So no big deal. 
uh, good old, good old, you know, wear and tear. You know, wear and tear is is here to stay. Um, I think I'm gonna go with this. I really like this combo here. Trying to block my, my my player here. That should be a dot, and that's my favorite. That's my favorite red zone dot in the game. It's super hard to guard. One of the cool things about trips, I just think trips does so many things for your offense from an alignment perspective. Like it really does. It's it's hard to play. It's really hard to play uh, defense against this formation, which is what makes it super good. We'll see if this combo works. I really like this combo. Look for the speed out if he's not in man. He is in man, but I still have it. See if we can catch it. Very good. Bernard, we got to put him off. We got we to gotta cut him. He's probably, like I say, he's probably the worst player in college football 25. He should never see your field. But, yeah, I mean, offense looked pretty good out of the rip. Milrow, for some reason, was hurt. I don't know. I've got to stop doing these squib kicks. These squib kicks are terrible. Um, let me get in this 4-4. We should be fine in this 4-4. This 4-4 is good. I'm telling you guys, a lot of people sleeping on this 4-4. I'm going to get down here with my user, pinch the D-line. This should stop this this run. Like, you should not be able to run the ball. That's that's the main reason I'm in this 4-4 is it's really good against the run. I don't. I just don't want to have to play the run, right? And the, the blitz out of this is actually really good, too. And then you can kind of set up your – you can kind of set up your your coverages however you want them to be. Got a little uh, swing pass. We'll take that away. Good. Might have to be a little careful with that safety, though. I will say. Wonder if I could. Wonder if I could put the middle linebacker in the deep blue. And put the middle linebacker in the deep blue. I'm basically user in this flat. That was actually a really good switch stick, and I can't catch a pick. Yeah, this defense is cool. So you can. The cool part about this defense too is you can send. You can send five. You can send four. You can send three. It's actually got a really good two man. Uh, it's it's got a really good four man pressure that a lot of people are kind of not aware of yet. We'll see if we can get this blitz to work on this play. Let me see here. We're gonna go hard flat to both of these guys. We got this guy in the yellow, and he throws a bubble screen. Tough scene. Tough scene. Tough scene. Tough scene. All right, single back bunch. Oh, they do have actually a, a really good stretch out of this that we have to kind of watch out for. I really would like to see that hard flat get out there just a little faster than that because it's the only thing it's supposed to be doing. So he's got this little bubble screen going for him. We'll have to kind of take that away. I think the best way to take that away, let's see if we can just do this with a pass commit. Send four. Very good. We just got to stop the run. This this running back is literally a glitch. He's actually banned in most comp tournaments right now. He's literally a glitch. I don't know why that was that open. The pass commit system is completely broken in College Football 25 um, because if you – I really don't like the pass commit system. I haven't liked the pass commit system for a while. But pass committing in this game, it'll help you defend, like, those bubble screens a little bit more. Your zones will kind of fly out to their positions. The only problem is if you pass commit, which I did right there, like you just you just basically cannot stop the run. It's like you're in, you're fundamentally incapable of stopping the run. So people can run these little like super silly bunch tight end stretch bubble play like, and that's fine. And I I, I don't know, it's just kind of frustrating, but we'll, we'll fight through it. I did not set my kick returner, which is why we got a terrible kick return. It's all right. Let's get back out here into trips. And the cool part about this, like you don't have to come out in a like, you can come out in all kinds of plays. The actual uh, quick audibles from this trip says pretty good. We're going to go PA slot corner here. See if we can't uh, hit this. I'm actually going to go double drags here. I'm mainly looking for that receiver right there. He's open. Catch it. Good read. Just a simple flood combo. I will say I think one of the things a switch stick like kind of forces you to have to do now is if if you're playing somebody and they know how to switch stick and they're good at it, then you kind of can't. I don't feel like you can call like the same combos as much because 
They can just switch to take it away. No, it's called play, buddy. All right, this this play right here is one of my favorites. This is just a great yard gaining. Like, it just gains yards for your offense. It's this um, tight end swirl play. I love this play. Take that running back quick read. I don't know why my – I got to get Young out of there. I don't, I don't know what Young is – I don't know what's going on in my depth chart. You guys saw me set the depth chart, and it just didn't work. So, we're going to get Prentice in here. We need to get this guy off. Bernard is off the team. He needs to not be on the field. We'll leave this guy in there for now. I think we're still on the left on the right hash mark. We're going to go with the old QB zone here. See if Milrow's back to form. I don't know what happened to Milrow. Did he get hurt on the first play of the game? Because he cannot. he's not running very fast. I love this QB zone, though. I think this QB zone is, like, probably one of the best plays in the game. All right, we're going to go drive post. I love drive post, too. So he's showing pressure here. We are going to block. And we'll just half slide. Now, when you block your running back, you do want to – do you want to kind of that's a great read against man that's a great read against a good cover zero blitz big williams and that's that's another thing about trips like a lot of the routes on troops are they're sharp cutting posts they beat man well and we're just going to take our our, our uh, extra point since we're going to still be up a possession kind of just put pressure on him to have to go for two i feel like my red zone defense is pretty decent i going to try a different style of kick here, see if we can get this thing to go super right to the sideline, and then just try to basically force him, force him back inside. And there we go, hit stick, no fumble. All right. We might have to get into this double mug if he keeps, keeps dotting this 4-4 uh, four, four up. We'll see what we can do here. All right, I'm going to try something here. Let's go spread look. Kind of like this look. This look should be good. Just make him pass. That's all we got to do. If we just make him pass. There we go. There we go. That's exactly what we wanted. All right. We just spread the linebackers out. He'll get out there. Perfect. Perfect. So the setup for this blitz, super simple. I'm literally just running engage eight out of four, four split. I know it seems like a super bot defense. It's actually a really good blitz. And I, uh, the way I set it up is I'm going to pinch my – do I have Fox and Overton? I don't. That's probably a big problem. Let's get Fox in there. Um, so I'm going to pinch, and then I'm going to spread my linebackers like this. And we'll kind of just play. That's a hard flat. I don't know how that's open. I literally don't know how that's open. That's a terrible – that's like like that's so bad that that is open. That's like – not good for the game. All right, I think what we're going to do is start sending five. That was pretty good heat, though. All right, five wide receiver trio. We're going to send. We're going to send this guy off the right. I probably don't need to spread my linebackers if he's not going to. Because the only problem with spreading your linebackers is I think it makes the blitz a little worse. Make sure my guys are in here. Robinson. There's where All right. Gage eight. Let's try this. I'm stuck in quicksand, dude. Uh, I'm stuck in quicksand. I. Jeez. <laughs> Whatever. Good, good thing we get the ball back. Good thing we get the ball back. The quick hiking in this game is kind of insane. I will say, like, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like he could snap the ball super fast. He just come up, like, snap whatever cross play, and we're just done. We're just the game is just over. Like, we're just jumping for joy because we're trying to put our guy in a hook zone. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. All right, we're gonna try to quick. We're gonna try to start out with the zone run just to see if he gives it to us. He's been coming out in that man. He's coming out in man line. Yeah, the zone run is really good if they're man aligning a lot. Of course, he's not gonna do that here, which is fine. We can go to this play. We have a lot of options. 
uh, in this offense. Like, literally, you can pretty much do all kinds of different things. That's another reason I like trips. It's just a multiple offense. There's so many things. So he's still showing man. Got that running back. Oh, we overthrew the running back by freaking 10 yards, bro. Oh, my gosh. That's so frustrating. The overthrows in this game are wild. Like, the, it's it's not because my free form's on 20. That was a blue pass. We overthrew it. Like, now he's in three deep. Like, what are we doing here? Let's see if we can get a dot here. This is probably man up three deep. Running back should be open. We're going to throw it. Break a tackle. Give me one juke. Give me one big juke. All right, that's fine. Love that route combo. He actually got a crazy, crazy shed for that situation. Here I'm kind of honestly just thinking three, although I do feel like the way he's kind of playing defense. So he's showing kind of a cover three look here. We'll see if we can't uh, just run this. That should be open. That's a Dude, Milrow can't throw. I do. I don't know what happened to him. It's literally like my. I might. I'm. I'm. Not, I might sub this dude in. Like, what's going on with my quarterback? This wear and tear stuff is just is is absolutely ridiculous. I I don't like the wear and tear stuff at all. All right, let's let's. He's just running. We know what he's running. Let's just. Let's just dot him up. Me a good juke, dude. This the, the these guys, these Alabama receiving receivers are terrible. That's the worst part about this team. All right, we're going to try to dot him up here. I think he's going to run cover three. Let's go to this verticals play. This, this play is pretty good against cover three. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put my tight end on a crosser. Ah, I've got to put him on a corner, actually. Let's, let's do this. Let's see. There. Mil dude, Mil Milrow can't throw. I think we might have to take Milrow out for the second half. I, I guess he got hurt on the first play. I didn't know you could have injuries. Like, this is wild to me. Like, we <laughs> – that, that, that drive right there was wild. We, we literally can't throw. Like, we're going to have to put Simpson in. He, he must have got wear and tear or something. I, I don't know because he – I've played with him a bunch. He normally doesn't do that. Like, normally he's – like, he's probably the best quarterback in the game. Him or Shador – and then the second best is is uh, Ewers from Texas. Like that, that's just not good. Let's 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 just come out and run and see if he's still running slow. We're gonna have to put somebody in. But it's, I I don't know how he got hurt. He didn't even take a hit. And you saw the juke he gave us. That I don't know. It's all right. I feel still still feel pretty good here. There we go. There we go. Use your speed. Look how slow he's running though. It's like he can't. Like, he, he can't finish runs. I don't get it. I'm going to juke. I don't know. I don't know. I wish it would show me. I don't know how to – I know it, I know you can see it. I just – I just – this – this uh, what what's it called? This wear and tear stuff is such a interesting thing. Like, I, I just don't like it. I, I don't like it at all. It just – because the thing is, like, he didn't even take a hit. He didn't even take a hit. And he was, like, super slow, couldn't juke. Like, stuff like that, you know. I told myself, I always tell myself I'm not going to do this kick, and I always do it. Got to stop doing that kick. All right, we need to get stopped. Defense needs to stop. Defense needs to stop being terrible. I feel like we've been close to getting a stop a couple times, too. All right, here we go. This should be D. All right, we're going to get over there. We're going to get over there. We're going to get over there with our user. That was a ah. – I should have put – uh, this guy's running some weird stuff. I think we might just play coverage. We might just play coverage this next play. Let's just let's just call cover three. Let's just call cover three. It's fine. Look at that thing screaming though. I mean, we're screaming every play pretty much. We just can't quite guard him. All right, we're just playing basic cover three. Of course, he runs the ball. We need to come out and engage eight though, because we need it to look the same. That's a big tip for defense. You want to make sure everything looks the same. You want your blitz to look exactly like your coverage so they can't identify what you're doing. So it is going to be a little bit more of a setup here. But Okay, 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 okay. You literally, like, that, that's got to be a fumble, something. Like, we can't, ugh, we just, 
Not a fan. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. All right. I think I'm, pin I'm pretty sure I'm pinching my line. I need them to crash down a little bit more inside. Like, we need to get this dialed in, boys. There we go. There we go. There we go. Very good. Very good. All right. Here we go. Come on. We'll take that away. That's a hard flat. They throw right at a hard flat. Like, it's insane to me. They're throwing at hard flats like that, and they just don't do anything. And he's just coming out here and just – he's just balling, too. That's the other thing. There's a hard flat over there. All right. I'm getting a little frustrated with this guy. Not, not a fan of the way he plays this game. Not a fan of the way he plays this game. All right. I think we're, gonna, I think we're just going to do this free safety blitz. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What can go wrong? What can go wrong right here, boys? That was actually a pretty good user. It was a good tackle. All right. We need to go cover zero. We need this, like... Maybe this LB fire might be it. I don't know. We got to do something, boys. He's just, he's just, he's just like, the thing is, like, you can see he's terrible. Like, you can see that his, his scheme is just, like, it's just a bot. Like, it, it, it's so bad, but it works. It, it just works. Like, that's just, it just is what it is. It just works. You know what I mean? All right, here we go. This blitz should be crazy. Of course, my guy on the bubble screen is not going to go out there. Dude, <clears throat> I hate bunch tight end. I think bunch tight end is such a bad formation, and we're going to release an ebook on it. That's what's funny. Gosh, bunch tight end is such a bad formation, bro. Let's see if this works. Just don't give up the stretch. He's going to spin. I don't know why he didn't get weared and teared. He's been running the ball all game. That's all right. Offense is fine. I kind of want to score quick here and give him a chance to lose the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My first kick return of college football 25. Miller. Do it, Miller. Do it. Do it. Look at him slow down. Dude, Alabama is frustrating. Very good. We got it in there. All right, we're going to just kick a field goal just based on situation. We don't want to, like, kill ourselves. I want to put some pressure on him to have to actually pass because I know he's going to eventually throw me a pick. All right, we're going to go all the way right. I've been seeing people do this, too. It's like a high kick almost. Okay. Okay, defense, come on. The problem with this dude is he's just quick hike like he just quick hikes everything. We're just gonna have to start playing like this, I think. <laughs> like this guy's begging to throw but Oh my goodness. It's even a booth review. <sighs> the frustrating part is, is I got actually really good defense. And because he's just playing weird, like, it just doesn't, it's just not working. Look at. <sighs> All right, we're done. We're done. We're done with that. We're done with that. I got an idea. I got an idea. We're done with that. We're not giving that up again the rest of this game. We are not giving that up. I don't care if we have to use it ourselves. That's a hard flat. That's a... Bro. He's sitting right there. How is that, not a, how is that nothing? This might be the best RPO in college football 25. All right, here we go. This is a D. 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 Throw right at the hard flat again. He threw it a hard flat two straight times, and he gained three yards and two completions. Are you kidding me? This is insane. You can't make this up. This is this is, this is wear and tear, boys. This is wear and tear. This is realistic. 
This is realistic. Throw right at a freaking hard flat. That's D. That's D. That's D. That's D. Give me the ball. Thank you. Thank you, Jackson. 98 speed. You're too fast for him. And there it is, boys. And there it is. We're back in the winning column. Alabama trips. Lord help us if we get stopped, though. Milrow will probably fumble knowing me. Oh, it looks like Milrow's finally healthy again. He's actually running fast. This quarterback zone's insane. Like, if he just keeps like, – like, think about it. Like, why would you call this defense? It's not going to work. It'll never – and, of course, it works. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't it? You just got a crazy instant shed. This RPO reflat is super good, too, though. We haven't even talked about this play. Let's see what he's doing. Um, Uh-oh. That didn't work. I wonder if I have a – I wonder if this is a read option. I, I'm honestly fine with three here, but I don't want three. I want to score. Let's go. Good dot, good dot. That route's so good. So many people are sleeping on that route right now. That's probably – I really think that might be the best – one of the best routes in the game. All right, let's go. Let's go RPO read. I think we can keep this with our quarterback. Oh, that was almost a dot. I should have thrown it, though. Yeah, I was just trying to see if you can keep it. You totally can. So this, what's cool about this run is you can throw the bubble screen to the right, you can run inside zone, you can keep with your quarterback, and you can throw a cir circle. Look at that throw. It's a really cool play. Got us a whole got us a whole one yard. All right, we gotta we gotta make it's a hard read to make though. It is kinda hard to read read this. Alright, I'm reading the R icon. Oh no, I forgot. Mm. Alright, we got the new offense. We gotta go for this. I forgot this year, if you want to pull it with your quarterback, you have to hit A or X. It's automatically going to hand the ball off. I totally was trying to. Gosh, I totally was trying to pull that with my quarterback. Dude, you gotta be kidding! You gotta be actually kidding me! He's wide open, bro. He's wide open. All he has to do is catch the ball. And guess what Milrow did? He threw it into Kansas. Wear and tear. You know, Milrow, at the end of the day, we just – Milrow has been taking too many hits this game. You know? Oh, we're bagging now. Oh, we're bagging now, though. We're bagging we we we're gonna we're gonna call a timeout because we're that baggy. It's getting that baggy out, baggy out here for him. It's getting that baggy out here for him. All right, here we go. Engage eight, best defense in college football. Twenty five. Stopping, we're stopping that bunch tight end glitch plays. We're stopping his bunch tight end glitch plays. That's the key. All right, now he's gonna change formations on us. What can go wrong? We're gonna send the goons. I, I, dude, that's a pick. Oh my gosh, that's a pick. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. He's also throwing the ball instantly, like every play, too, which is kind of crazy to me. All right, I think we got him, though. This is third and 16. If we can just get the ball back right here. All right, we're sending the goons. Delay a game, false start, something, something. Very good. Okay, okay, here we go. Let's see. Hopefully he does not come out in that formation because that formation is kind of interesting. I don't really want to have to play that. I, there we go. This is what I want to play. This is what we want to play. This is what we want to play, boys. I'm going to X. 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 Give me the ball. Thank you, Campbell. Campbell, for the win, we can at least – all right, here we go. Milrow, you got to redeem yourself. you got to redeem yourself. You've played absolutely terrible this game, 
in a game you should have dominated. Here we sit. I have the perfect play call. I know this is going to work. Block. Milrow, let's go. Go, Milrow, go. Use your speed. There it is. We could have probably thrown the out route, but it was clear that that was open, so we just went with Milrow. Milrow's played terrible this game. He normally is a lot better. This game is normally even more unstoppable when your quarterback doesn't actually, you know, miss throws and doesn't run like he's in quicksand. This scheme is pretty good. So, anyways, boys, uh, that's going to be it. We'll kick off. We'll show you kickoff. But if you want to check out the full ebook, it's available in the school community. We have, I think we are up to almost 10 schemes in the school community for you. A lot of different ways to play defense. That's kind of what I'm, I guess I put the most time into trying to learn is is basically how, how can we play defense, right? Because defense is, in my opinion, super hard in this game. Oh, no. Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, yeah, very good. <laughs> very good. All right, thanks for watching. Ebook links are in the description below.